so we're embarking on our third third code along i believe lexi am i uh hallucinating or is that true it's our third code along? third right that's right yeah cool so we've covered micro bit we've looked at makey makey and today we are going to look at turtle art and I love the byline I have, where math meets art. Because that's what turtle art is all about. So um, welcome people today. Um, I am, I'm going to roll with this. And you guys are going to um, actually do some um, coding today um, and make beautiful art uh, with a turtle. A turtle will make art. Now, just the preface so that you can all like be relieved i've done turtle art with grade one and they are amazing at it so grade one can do it all of us can do it no problem so turtle art let's have a little get go here so that we can finish within our hour so welcome today um as i've been saying turtle art is what we're going to focus on today um, this is a learn offering this, we're doing these code alongs this year, and maybe we'll uh, continue doing these as we see the relevancy. Um, but these are little capsules that you can use also, uh, to share with other teachers, uh, their little tutorials that we'll have. And plus everything about turtle art is free, free, free. So I love that. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at, um, the nuts and bolts kind of of what the platform does and then we're going to do two challenges together <clears throat> so i'll give you a little demo first but then i'm going to throw some challenges at you and the challenges are one's very basic and the other one's kind of more of a remix and i've created a padlet where we're going to share all of our creations hello mary um welcome to turtle art um so that we can also share what we create. Um, once you create things, sharing is the best. Students love sharing their creations. And I can guarantee you that you could tell every one of your students that comes to you and says, oh, I'm not an artist, that at the end of Turtle Art, they'll all be saying, hey, wait a minute, I'm pretty good at art. So we will, I will convince you of this throughout this session. And then we'll wrap up. I have a bunch of resources. Uh, that you can take with you so that you're not starting from nowhere. And then we will say our goodbyes. And then I believe our next um, code along is with Scratch and Scratch Junior. Anyway, we'll share all that info at the end with you. All right. So a brief history of turtle art. Now, um, this is an actual quote that I got from Artemis Papert, who... Um, is amazing with turtle art. She makes shirts and cups and bookmarks and all kinds of different materials with it. But uh, Brian Silverman is, is the guy behind this. And basically they were looking at Logo, which is an old programming platform, and they wanted to revive it. They wanted to bring the turtle back. Um, and they started to figure out how they were gonna do it. And then um, boom. Uh, they 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 programmed it, and this is uh, through the Playful Invention Company, which is uh, Brian Silverman's uh, company based out of Montreal. Um, so he said, I want to read this quote because I think it's just so good. So he first showed Artemis Turtle Art, and he said he wasn't sure about uh, the art, about bringing the geometry back in. And she replied, there's no question there. It's all about the art. So we're gonna hide the math inside the creation process of the art. Um, and that's the great thing about a lot of these block programming is that there's a lot of stuff going on behind those blocks, but we're gonna focus on the art aspect of it. And we'll I'll throw a few little things about the math in there, but this is all about creating geometric shapes, forms, which is in just about every um, level in our schooling system, in math, they have to do this eventually. So why not start them earlier? So you can kind of see the differences between how it started 
and then what it looks like now. So it went through quite an interesting transformation. Um, so what it does is it uses digital coding blocks and it creates these imaginative, uh, insanely complex looking art um, productions. But what's behind them is not all that complicated. Um, we're going to see as we go through this process today that it's um, it, it it functions very much like all of our block programming. It's always on a Cartesian plane, and it's very two dimensional. So we're not having to look at the z axis. So we're only going to be focusing on the x and the y. But with just those simple two D um, capabilities, you can see that the possibilities are pretty endless. Um, and I hope by the end of this, you're going to spend the rest of your evening playing with turtle art and making your own art and sharing it with the world. Now, one thing in education too, which is really fun is how to push the ceiling higher. Now, turtle art's pretty easy to get into. Like I told you, I've done it with grade ones. They really appreciate it. It's quite easy for them. I give them little tips and tricks uh, I we talk about the blocks a little bit, but mainly they're like, Chris, get out of my way. Let me on this platform. And let me start making art, which I do. So you can program this online or you can download a version so that's on your desktop if you want. Um, and then there's a way that you can also share your masterpieces because you can download a PDF of it. Now, a couple of other interesting things is that um, throughout the years, Turtle Art's been used to do all kinds of different things. So what you can do is you can take your program and then throw it on an Arduino board and say, okay, draw it for me. And it can do it. So again, I'm pushing the ceiling a bit higher. Once I have my code, I can then reuse it in a different way. So doing art bots with this code is really fun. And another thing, um, Josh Berker, who's a great maker, um, he started making tiles and re, um, vinyl cuts and um, 3D printing of his art. Um, and you can kind of see these 3D materials. He took, um, you know, an art that he made, a, a piece that he made on Turtle Art, printed it as a 3D print, used it as a template, and then was able to make all these really cool ceramic tiles with them. So every kid kind of had their own um, piece of tile that they created and they created these beautiful like, mosaics with them. So again, you can see that we're not going there today, but you can see the distance that you can go once you get going with this. I thought it was pretty cool. So let us do a demo. There we go. So you can see Turtle Art's a pretty basic platform. Um, the blocks always tend to be on the left side. And then your playground or your sandbox is always on the right side. Now, you can see it on the, on the left side, I have all these colored blocks. And the colored blocks obviously do different things. Um, there is literature on this that you can have a look at. If you go down to the bottom right corner and go into the help, there's actually a PDF that you can go and use that will kind of tell you what all of the blocks do. All right. So for the colors themselves, the green is the turtle. So moving that turtle around. The blue is always the color that I would put with it or background colors, colors of whatever I want to draw. The pink is our math. So numbers, and always on X and Y. Uh, the orange is the flow, like kind of like repetition. Do I want to repeat this how many times? And then the yellow is where you can create your own blocks. And we'll get into that a little bit. I won't have you creating your own blocks today, but I will definitely get in you using most of those blocks there today. And you can see that the document's really good. There's um, lots of stuff that you can start with. Um, and it kind of names all the blocks here at the end if you want to get into that kind of detail. I'm going to show it to you just like that because I would rather us play because, hey, it's the code along. So first off, um, if I want to start creating a code, um, let's just do something very basic. All right. We're going to start a code very basic. 
And what I want to do is I'm going to just put in a star, All right? We're going to start with the star. And the star you can see, can you see that now? Very easy stuff. And we'll just look at the code. You always start with a clean. All right, the clean allows me to kind of double click on it and it will start drawing it over when I hit clean. So it kind of erases your tablet, resets it. I am repeating 10 times. Here's all our beautiful math, right? So I have 10 of these lines. I want it to go forward and back so that it leaves a trace and the length is 200. And then I'm repeating it 36 times. Oh, tons of math involved here, right? 36 times 10, repeating it, I'm doing 360. So I'm creating this whole circle. Super easy to get started with. Now, the manipulation is really fun when I can start to go and play around with the variables. So say, for example, instead of 10, let's go crazy and say 100. And, oh, well, it's going to actually, because it's always in the same spot, I'd have to move the degrees a bit. Let me put this up to 56. And you can see again, so just by playing, and a lot of the time, this is what kids do. They'll just start playing with the numbers. I could put negative and I can also put positive. Remember you're on a Cartesian plane, which has our negative and our positive, both in the X and the Y um, areas. So again, getting going with this, pretty simple. Now, I wanna show you a trick. Um, Red, yes, default color, but good question. Here I could go and manipulate all of my colors. So pen up, pen down, the size of the pen, the color, the shade, to fill in, to not fill in, fill screen if I want, right? So you can see I just clicked on it and it will change the screen color. And again, the colors I showed you in that template. So it will tell you what 100 is as a color so that your kids can have those kinds of little clues to kind of fill in the blanks as they go through and code. Um, the pink again, there's all my math where I put all of my variables in there. Here's my repeat, my if then statements. Um, and again, starting from green and going down, you're kind of like raising the level of complexity as you go through. You can see my back screen. I mean, it's a complex code, but this is turtle art, right? So I've done a lot of repetition. I've changed the color a few times. I've changed angles a little bit, right? And it creates these beautiful kind of mosaic. Well, this one mosaic uh, in this case. Now, let us know. I want to give you a first challenge. What I want you guys to do is we're going to do our first basic one. And I want you to try four blocks. Okay, just four blocks. I want you to do a forward. I want you to do a right. I want you to play at the arc. Arc, meaning there's probably some kind of circular motion that will go on. And I want you to try the repeat. And the repeat allows the turtle to do multiple things um, at a time rather than it just one single thing. Um. And I want to give you one little tip. Okay, I have a little tip for you. If you take a card, okay, you can see I have a card that I just downloaded from their library. I can drag and drop this onto any of the platform on anywhere in the sandbox and the code will appear. So it's a good way to kind of get started if you're kind of showing the kids you want to look at what the drawing does for something. Um, you download the card, wherever you want to put it on your computer, drag and drop it into the sandbox and the code will go in there plus the image will go in there. We're going to do that a little bit more when we get into the remix in the second challenge. So for your first challenge, I want you to use those four blocks. I would like it if you also shared your creation after in the Padlet. So the palette is just a way for us to kind of like share out what we're creating. Um, so when you're done, download it, and then you can just upload it into the Padlet. And I think the Padlet already has a couple of, there we go, right? So here's our gallery. 
Again, you're just going to use the bottom button, the plus sign on the bottom button. Um, and if you click on it, I can upload a file. So once you finish with your turtle art, your creation, you're going to download it. Now on turtle art platform on the bottom left corner, there's a little box with an arrow, download it. It'll go into your computer and then you can up it into the Padlet. So I want to give you, um, let's say five minutes and I want you to create your first turtle art with those blocks. And let me bring those back up again. Uh, where are you? Exit. Okay, so you're going to use the forward, the right, the arc, and the repeat. And if you feel um, it, um, like you could do more, and you could put more, I'm going to give you five minutes. And then we'll have a look at what you guys were able to do. All right. Does anybody have any questions about that? Uh, yes. Um, yep. Hi, Chris. Uh, I was Hi, having trouble getting onto the Zoom. I had to get some things up updated. So I missed yep. the first three minutes. Was there something that we were supposed to download or, you know, have no, I missed? It's all online. Um, I'll put the, uh, I'll put it in the chat again, where you have to just go and open it up. Okay. Okay. So there's the platform. You'll see that it's blank. You'll see your blocks on the left side. And then your sandbox is in the middle of the screen. And again, it's just dragging and dropping and kind of like Lego placing them together. When you want to see what you're doing, either you click on the clean or hit on the play button, which is on the top right corner. Good question, Antonio. Let me show you. So to download it, here we are. So say I, I made this, all right? And I want to download this now. I put all my code. I just hit this square on the bottom right corner and it, I'll save it. Here's my tester. And then I say, okay. And then it will spit out a copy on a PDF for me. Okay. And mine's are going to my downloads. So I go and get it there and then I could bring it up into the Padlet. And yes, Antonio, yes, there's an iPad version for it as well. Um, that you can get on the iOS. Um, but I think you have to pay for the one on iOS. Yes. It costs 13 bucks. But if you have iPads, you could just open a Safari up, go into Playful Inventions, the link I gave you, and you can just use it right in there. So there's ways around. Um, so if I'm on a um, regular uh, Mac MacBook or MacBook Air, um, yep. the link you just gave me, uh that's, that's it that's the platform yep i don't get okay i'm not sure okay so i'm here gotcha yep. you'll see it looks kind of like like i have something on here you see that that's cool all right so take a couple more minutes let's see what you guys are creating Some uh, cool ones brought in here now. How do you uh, correct a mistake? For example, I did fill in screen and that erased everything. So how do I just sort of go back? Um, did you put fill in screen on in the in your code? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yes, I don't so know. I had just, I had a design, you, and then when I put fill in screen, it sort of colored everything blue and. Okay, you can just take the fill in screen out of your code and that will, and then just play it again and it should. You can also hit the green clean button and it will erase that fill so that you can see your code behind it. Uh, well, it's now all blank, but that's all right. This is a learning opportunity. Mary, you're going to be playing with this the rest of the night. I know it. <laughs> you know, it's the... Uh, the motivation is my granddaughter. That's what the motivation is. Okay, cool. Oh, she'll love this. Can I choose where the turtle starts from? 
Oh, I can move him. Yes. Oh, oh I didn't tell you that, right? So I if you want to move the turtle, grab it by its head and you yeah. can move it wherever you want. But um, you then, if you grab the head, it rotates. If you grab the body, you can move it. I think. Oh, you can rotate him. It. Sorry. It. it it's asexual. <laughs> Got it. Cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, and Tony, I made a design, but can't seem to upload it. Um, can you? Do you want to just dump it in the chat in on the Zoom meeting, Antonio, and I can upload it for you? Nice, Anton. Woo, fancy, fancy. Turned his purple. All right. Anton, so, show me how to do that. Let me, uh, I can show you here. And we can actually, so let me, I'll go through this process with you guys because it's kind of cool, right? So say I have this piece of art right here, okay, that Anton made, and I want to download it. So I'm just going to download it into my, I'll download the picture into my, download folder now go ahead and open up a fresh turtle art window okay open a fresh one take that um code that's um take the picture you downloaded and drag it onto the sandbox and whoop, you'll see the code you'll see everything so it's a cool way to kind of share things um you put it in the chat too but that's a fun way that you can share chris i've so, lost you I I find the, uh, when I go back to where, where I saw your beautiful face, I just get the learn website. How do I get back to where I was? Um, you might have a window open, like we're just in Zoom. Um, I'm sharing my screen okay, right yeah, now too. So, okay, never mind, I'm back. Yeah, so I'm, I'm in our turtle art gallery. Um, yeah. So what are some impressions? First impressions of your first piece of code, how'd it go? Like. Antonio had something nice, Craig, really cool, Lexi, Leanna, really cool stuff. Um, what's some feedback on your first experience? Now, Lexi, I'm sure that's not your first experience. No, I've been playing with it a little bit. So. <laughs> oh, nice. That's I really don't cool. understand how to use ARC. Okay. That's the only thing I do know how to understand, do know how yeah. to do. So ARC is creating a, well, it's creating an ARC. Right. So you're you're telling it basic degrees and stuff. But oh, I forgot to show you guys something which I want to show you. Um, because it's very cool. So when you are on Turtle Art, okay, and I want to know what is it, I click and hold on the block and it pops up the information. Okay. So it will explain to you what it is. So the arc is it makes it turn, right? So the angle and then the radius that you have. Again, we have lots of math involved here. So make a 270 degree arc with a radius of 30, right? And you can see an example of what it would produce. So an arc is about angle and it's also about radius as well. So any of these blocks I can click on, hold it, and it yeah. gives you a little descriptor as to what they do. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to get into that on the next challenge, but there you go. All right. So all of them do the same thing. And remember also down in the bottom right corner here, I have samples and I have help as well if I need it. Hmm. Um, but it's really just playing around with it. And it's fun when you can actually watch it do the drawing. I find that cool. And then you could talk about it. Well, where are the arcs? Well, look at all the arcs that I'm doing there, Leanna. You see them all? Yeah. So the arc is that first kind of before it continues the straight line. Mm -hmm. And mine's just rotating around. I've repeated it 10 times. Uh, yeah. So it's yeah. just, yeah, just mucking around with it and playing around. All yeah. right. Next. Yeah, that's that. That's my blank. Okay. Did anybody else want to comment on any of the ones that they had done your first experience with turtle art? I'm liking the results. Um, All right. Yes. I, I feel like I'm the uh, slow learner in this group. I most definitely am. I did do a little something. And cool. the question is, where did it go? So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, is this, it, is this it too hard a question be, to ask? 
in your like do you not see the screen anymore maybe it's in a different tab i see okay hold on here i'm just gonna go out of let here let me stop <laughs> sharing and that might make everything mm -hmm. so the screen that yeah hold on i have trouble oh yeah i see it but how do i share it with you not that it's anything worth sharing but just well, on the screen there, on the bottom right corner, uh, left corner, sorry. Yeah, the download. There's a little box. I did yeah, that. You click on it. So yeah. that will go into your download folder. Right, did it. And then you open up the Padlet link that I sent you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here, I'll send it again. It's in, in the chat. Yeah, hold on, the Padlet link. And then away you go. You just um, upload it from uh -huh. the bottom right corner. okay okay that's fine in case i come up with something brilliant in the next few minutes <laughs> all right so let's bring it up a notch so now we're going to do our challenge number two and let me get in here so again we'll do the same process as um uploading it to the padlet but this time let's remix something that's already been made all right, so what I want you to do Okay, so when I click on it, I get here. Okay. Now, you can look through those and when you click on one, it'll open it up so you get a better idea of what the picture is. Now, I told you that trick before. I can download this picture drag it from my downloads onto the platform on my browser and it will dump the picture and all the code right in there so what i want you to do and let me go through that process mm -hmm. all right so here i am in blank blank screen all right i want to bring abyss in right so i just was in the big gallery Right? There's tons of different art you can choose from. I just selected one and say, okay, say I want this. I'll do a right click on it and then just save image. You decide where you want to put it. Mine goes to my downloads, but yours might go somewhere else. Just download it. Okay. So now it's in my download folder. I'm going to go back to my turtle art platform. And look how easy this is. I'm in my downloads, drag, drop, bam. Man, that's a complicated one. But you can see all the code just gets added to it. All right. Now you can see here a lot of um a lot of the yellow, right, is my blocks, right? So these were made. So it kind of gives you an idea of looking at okay, the frame, how is the frame designed? How is the door designed? How is the shift designed? It gives you lots of information. Now it looks overwhelming, but what I'd like you to do is to remix one of these images. Okay, so remix means change the variables. So you're gonna go into the gallery again. Okay, and you can see there's a bunch of different ones, some really cool ones too. But this might inspire you like on a different journey or on a different path. So choose one, download it onto your, de onto your computer, and then drag and drop it onto the turtle art interface and then play. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you about five ish minutes or so. And one thing I want you to think about as you're doing this is what had the biggest effect on the change of the look of my art. All right. So have a look at what created the most change. And some of them are quite complicated, right? Again, we're pushing the ceiling pretty high here, but just for fun, mess it up. You can do whatever you want with it. Erase this, move that around here, add different things in and see how it affects um, and just take note. When you're done, I want you to go back into the turtle art um, padlet that I sent. There we go. There you go, Mary. Nice. I know. It's just amazing. Cool. And <laughs> Antonio, were you able to upload? Is this your challenge one? Very cool. Nice. Looks like a bird or a fish. Cool. Love it. So challenge two, go find one, bring it in, 
muck around with it, and then dump it into the turtle art. So where do we find them? I, I'm um, just following yeah. instructions. Like, just where do I let get me, that? I... Let me put the... So here in the chat is where the art is. Okay, that link will bring you into this huge um, gallery. Oh, You're oh. going to download one of these images. So say oh, I want shells. Oh. Sure. Click, okay. save it. And then go onto your platform and then drag and drop it onto your platform. And there it is. Thank okay, you. And then I want you to play with the variables and the blocks to change the art, and make it your own. And feel free to ask any questions as if you have any. We're here, we're coding, figuring stuff out. I found this a background is... that, that inspired me. And yep. when you press play and like do it continuously, the colors in the background change and things move at the same time. Right. So I figured right. out how the things move, but how do you change okay. the color? I still don't get that part. Well, the color you're going to find in the blue blocks. Okay, now, previously, you can go and find the colors, actually, Leanna. If you go into the help section on the bottom right corner, it'll tell you what the range is for the colors. Like, oh, yeah. zero is red, 10 is orange, right? right? And then you have all the variations in between. Zero through 10 will make it more and more orangey like, And then 10 through 20 oh, gets yeah. more yellowy. Okay. okay, so you can use those charts to kind of help you with the numbers and the color. I'm seeing it now. They it helped when you said look for the blue blocks because they put in random color. So it's like random okay. between negative nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine to like okay. positive, and so every I time it anything. changes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Across the whole color. Palette. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Anton, I wish the blocks would highlight have a marker on them. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is a way, Anton, where you can get the Cartesian plane on there. Uh, yes, yeah, I picked one that's super complex, and I wanted to pinpoint the exact time where it changes into a specific color, so I could modify that color using the chart. That's why. Right. I would check. Um, like just look at the blue blocks because they'll 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 be your color ones and you might have to just test a few, like try that switch. And... This is called playful tinkering. Holding down on the blocks is yeah. the coolest part of the app. I like that part. Yeah, it's cool. It gives you all the info. Yeah. And so you're really overachieving there, eh? Jeez, and look at that. So, Chris, when I've got <laughs> this, you know, pattern yep. right in front of me with the code yep. showing. Yep. And um, you just have to prompt me. What do I do next? So I want you to, to remix it. So yeah. you see where you see the variables, all the numbers? You can right. manipulate so those by clicking oh, on them okay. and then... So yeah. I want you to you reinvent it, remix right. Just whatever change, image you chose. Change some directions, right? Yeah, yeah. Or colors or backgrounds, yeah. shapes, okay. whatever you might So do. if I hold down a purple zero, um, how do I actually change that? Tap on the block to change the number while I'm tapping yeah. on it. Well, it you'll see it. it outlines in blue when you click on it. It'll yeah. turn yeah. And then you can just use your keyboard numbers to oh, change. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Thanks. Very yeah. helpful. Uh, Antonio, you're having trouble downloading. I think Anton's right, though. You could probably, Antonio, right from, if you open two windows, like one with the gallery and then one with the platform, see if you can't just drag it right from one window to the next. It, it might work. 
and then you don't have to download it all. You, you'll probably need to have two windows that like are open side by each. I'm going to heart all these because they're so well done. Cool. Nice. So take a couple minutes and just uh, throw up whatever you might have uh, discovered. Wow. Let's have a little look at a couple of these. Just refreshing a little bit here. So you can see that once the... Uh, once the idea behind it starts, um, it, 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 the uptake's pretty easy. I'll show you some really cool resources that I have to share as well that will help you along this journey as well so that you don't feel like, oh, I saw that two weeks ago and I totally forget what to do. So I'm going to leave you with a few um, resources that will keep you going. Now, again, all ages... Um, this is super cross-curricular. Um, you could have kids write stories about these. These could be backgrounds for whatever. Uh, you can reproduce them in certain ways if you wanted. Um, I think that it's really endless, the possibilities. Plus, think about all of the, I could print it onto a t-shirt. I could print it onto a cup. I could, you know, think of all the entrepreneurial projects that you could do with this, with all this original art, um, I think would be just fascinating. So basically anything that you make here, you can download it as an SVG file. And SVG files are very compatible compatible with um, our cutters, our laminators, our um, pr printers, 3D printers, uh, you name it. So it, it allows it to go pretty nicely. So uh, Anton, tell us, this is yours, right? The Rocky Rock? Yep. How'd it go? What was one thing that you um, manipulated that changed it the most? Uh, obviously, well, the color for sure. But when I started to tinker around with um, the boxes and shades, you can kind of play around with like how it, how fast the boxes start to appear or like how yeah. they fade. It, it's definitely tricky though. I need to go back in and spend a bit more time seeing right. where it's like a gradient across say your colors that's it because like the one thing that's different between this and scratch is that like you can see the boxes so if i could pinpoint where one is doing what i could really manipulate it the way i want it and maybe add some more arcs instead of straight back and forth lines yep well it's definitely you're onto something here i like it too it looks like um torn pieces of paper like confetti or something you know it's very artsy you're an artsy guy i guess um, who did the stick man? I did. So Craig, how did you like, how did, what was your uh, manipulation behind this art? My, my inspiration. So there was three jumping jack stick men and I just wanted to use it to see the pattern, what it was all about. So I made the fourth one and changed the colors and stuff like that. But I, I wanted to figure out how to make the sequence of get going from bigger to smaller moving it over on an X, Y axis. Yep. And I shared in the the chat how I separated everything because it, it all just kind of clustered on top of it. It took me a while to slide things out to, to make sense of it. And then I figured out what the us means, the sequencing of B, stick man B, stick man A, stick woman J, and stick right. person C. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just busted it out to, to make it linear. I needed it. I need to see it so that I can uh, play with it. Yeah. This is your family right here. Yeah. 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 Exact <laughs> replica. Yeah. So what I like about this one wow. is if you put it into turtle art and you click play, it changes every single time. Hmm. Oh, so right. I, Cause why, why is that my question to you? Uh, well, I realized that they randomized the colors. And so then I started putting in the randomization into everything. Right. So like now the birds are randomized, the moon, the sun, the background, like everything. Um, I was this trying is an to evolving change... piece, right? It's never the same. Yeah, I was trying <laughs> to change the sizes, but I couldn't figure it out. So I think that would be the next okay. step. Love it, great, nice first experience. Yeah. Or have you been playing on this all day? 
No, first time. Oh, nice. Yeah. What was the randomizer block? Do you, do you have that to share? Yeah, I'll share it in the chat, but it's basically the color is pink and it actually says random and then you put in two variables. Okay. Similar to Scratch too, eh? we have, there's a, a random block in there as well. I think in Microbit too, um, like they tend to put those, eh? those random blocks. Mary, tell us about, to me, this looks like a rose, an unraveling rose. Yes, I had no intention, uh, like Craig, I just said, okay, I'll stop there. It looks like I kind of knew what I was doing. But of course, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just playing. And sure. I thought that looked kind of cool. So I stopped. I'm very much at the, I'm like a puppy dog just stepping on things and things happen. <laughs> you know, I'm not at the plan. I wanted it to look like such and such. No, I'm not. There it yet. looks like an album album cover. Yeah, yeah, of course, that's exactly what I was going for. Awesome. <laughs> no, not at all. But, you know, that's, that's cool uh, I, I know Artemis because she's my massage therapist. She does shiatsu right. and massage. So um, since I'm a good massage client, she gives me a, a calendar every year. And some of them kind of look sort of like that. So I just thought I'd yeah. show up. But I had no idea. <laughs> well done. Well done. And Lexi, what do you got here? It, was that one, a remix or is that something you just created? Yeah, I remixed from the one called Dalton, which was like originally a kind of dark purple background with all circles of blue and this. Yeah, Dalton. It was originally that, exactly. So wow. I changed you the background. From there to there. Wow. Yeah, I changed the background uh, color. I also changed, so it also used random. Um, so um between it's like basically it's random between two different numbers so whatever two numbers you put that's what's going to change the color so I changed those colors I changed the size of the dots um and basically the way they had it creating the dot was like just moving moving forward one and it made kind of a circle so when I moved okay. it forward more it made more of an oval kind of shape I changed how many times it repeated and I changed because at one point in the loop it turns um right and so i changed um like by how much it turns so that's how i created more of this star pattern versus in the original when i was able to watch it happen it was going in a triangular um okay. like growing triangle but this i made it more star like i guess so amazing it's such it's really dramatic the way eh? like just small little tweaks like that it just like transforms mm -hmm. everything love it Nice work, Lexi. And I don't know, I don't know if Antonia got hers on. I don't see it. I took the shells and I just turned them into wheels. Say plat. I know, but I mean, look at the madness I have behind me. So, <laughs> um, what was the original of the of those shells, the wheels? Uh, the shell. Uh, oh, I'll show you. Uh. I, Right here. Oh, so wow. it went from that to yeah. Cool. Very cool. I didn't I didn't have to do much either. I just changed the angles a little bit and uh the arc and boom. So well there you have it. So let me get back here. We gotta start to wrap this party up a bit. Um so Good on you guys. There is our, our challenge number two. One thing too, eh? you can go into that Padlet now and take Leanna's art, drop it into Turtle Art, and you can remix her art. Or if you like Lexi's and you want to see what it looked like and see the detail behind the blocks, also very doable. So on this platform, you can't save. So once you close the browser, it goes bye-bye, unless you've downloaded it. So just keep that in mind as you go through, okay? There's no accounts that are created. All right, now for, for the resources that I'm gonna share with you, um, I've put in some technique cards. Now, if you wanna start with your students or you wanna send these off to a teacher or you want your, to get your grandchild to start, these are really fun to get started on because they show you kind of the basics. Right. So one turtle is easy. 
it gets the two turtles, and then you can also get the three turtles. But these are very basic. It keeps every, mostly everything in red, and then it shows you at the end that you can slowly start to transform. Okay, so technique cards are there. Um, I've also put in this. Uh, I share this with my kids. This is repeated. I print this out and it just gives them some ideas. You see the color sequences is in there and it gives you a few little ideas of the blocks, et cetera, just to kind of get started again. Um, laminate those up, hand those out. Perfect. Um, and then if you want the vocabulary for the blocks, um, they are here. But remember with the blocks, um, when I'm in turtle art, I simply have to hold down on it and it will tell me exactly what that block is for. Um, so you have a tre treasure trove of things in here. You can use my challenges as well. And the gallery also, you're welcome to use it and show. But it's a great way, uh, the Padlet, to kind of like show the show off what we're doing. Because again, you can't really save anything other than downloading it. So we need a place to put it. Now. I want to uh, wrap up by saying thanks, guys. This was a lot of fun. There you have it. Congrats for all of your beautiful work. Everyone created original masterpieces today, every single one of you. Um, so if you thought you were an artist, I uh, would argue against that, that you all created some pretty amazing things just like that.